Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. I'm here with the champ, the one and only, the beast, the one that is unaltered. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> 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 Unaltered. Oh, you mean like uh, in terms of gender dysphoria? Yeah, like, yeah, okay. yeah, that's it. That's what I'm, yeah, I'm the same. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Consistency is key in life. Yes. So, brothers and sisters, in a nutshell, this video has been sent to me left, right, center. Uh, yeah, I, I actually found it funny. I didn't even know if I should do a reaction video, but it's, I just found it really funny. Uh, but this you, is you thought you'd do it anyway. Yeah, you know because the thing is, well, like, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, do you want to watch it? So here we go, and you know what's yeah. really funny? What's really funny? Is what they're reciting, yeah? And I was, had to say I'm into it. You ready? Alright. Yeah, I love that. It's serious, so. Hey, I think I need to go and watch the video. They sorry, should have sorry. displayed it on the screen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, I have to say I mean to that, yeah, because yeah, and it definitely may Allah keep us on the right path. I mean, uh, because this is actually very, uh, it's crazy because the thing is, we know that um, this is two queer gay Muslims, basically, two men who are getting married uh, or doing a nikah. Now, the funny thing is, obviously, there's a few conditions for a nikah uh, to be accepted. Uh, SubhanAllah. So they don't fit any of them from the, from the asal is batil. Yeah, it's from the asal. Yeah, from the get go, this is invalid. So for an action to be accepted, we know there's two things. Which is that you have to have the intentions, which is that I ask you for the sake of Allah, uh, something that we as YouTubers struggle with, we should work on, uh, which is very important actually. Intentions. Number two is the actions. So the actions have to be according to the Sunnah. Now we know nowhere from the Quran, the Sunnah, anywhere of the Sahaba, the Tabi'in, the Tabi'in, tabi there is nothing ever has happened in history. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is condemned, not only that destroyed nations because of this action. Let alone them doing a nikah. So when you see this, I mean, like, what goes through your mind? Because I don't know if I should laugh or cry on the matter. There's one thing, the one example that came into my mind. Mm. That was like a vegetarian yeah. who's so desperate to cling on to the title of vegetarian. Yeah. But he can't do the actions of being a vegetarian. So he tries to superimpose, oh, no, no, no I'm going to eat meat, but I'm still a vegetarian. Mm. Which goes against the definition of a vegetarian Exactly Which goes against the principles of a vegetarian But he still identifies as a vegetarian But he still identifies as a vegetarian Even though what he's, the actions that he's following is not of a vegetarian And that's the thing, Islam mm. I mean one of the five things that he came to preserve was family Yes, the yeah. lineage Yes. Yeah, the, the, the lineage, family And it takes these things very very seriously mm. Categorically this is haram it's not yeah. permissible in fact islam is being praised by many people that are accepting islam as being the last line of defense mm. against this lgbtv phenomena mm. yeah so alhamdulillah this is a source of pride for us yeah yeah not that pride ali yeah don't get oh, excited okay yeah this is like it seems mm. like certain words and certain colors mm. have been hijacked mm. as well oh yeah everything. But, everything been hijacked. but subhanallah this mm. is a form of pride that we say no we can categorically say this is wrong it is not within the scope of islam mm. it's an aberration it's not allowed within the religion mm. clear cut not only that it's not valid so meaning look it can be look i can look at these two people and be like you know what they are really being tested and they just think in their head, look, the intentions could be that. I cannot doubt the intention of someone's heart. I can't say, you know what, the intentions are, they actually are sadly misguided, but they genuinely think that this is somehow going to make it halal. It's not. The action within its very self is haram. So you doing a nikah doesn't make it more halal. In the sight of Allah, nothing has changed. It's like eating you pork and then saying Bismillah before eating it. Well exactly and not only that, like we can take the, the situation where for example if a man and a woman is getting married and the wali is not there, it's the nikah is batil unless you're a Hanafi. Okay but in general the Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad said there is no um, nikah without the wali. So therefore 
the point is what? You are doing a nikah, you're committing zina. A man or a woman, for them to, at least they can have a condition that can be fulfilled. If the father knows, okay, it's nikah. But with you guys in that situation, man, you can bring the father, the, you can bring whoever you like. The nikah is battle within itself. So to these individuals who are going through this, look, I've spoken to many gay people, etc. Even in the park last week, I told them, look, we don't hate you. I don't want you to feel like you can't be a believer. You can be a yes, Muslim. Yes, yes. You get it? I spoke to them and I said, listen, please, as religious people, we don't have this animosity towards you. We believe it's a sin and we don't hate the sinner. We hate the sin. There can be instances where we hate the sinner too, but that could go with anyone who drinks alcohol and is proud of it, whatever it may be. That, but, that, that's the key thing. Exactly. Proud, but proud. But how proud and, that you're yes. broadcasting it to other people. Exactly. So look, many people are, you know, they, they may be going through this, but they don't declare it, you know, proudly and make videos yes. and share it to the yes. people or holding a ceremony calling yes. the guests in that's exactly that's promoting fahish exactly. yeah that's that's dangerous and that some people can say even leads to kufr like that's a big big problem exactly to broadcast your sins and yes. make it a part of religion yes. that's actually it's a deep deep theological that yes, issue that's problematic i know that is istihlal if you make it if you say no this is halal you are basically become a disbeliever so I think that's it. I think it's very clear. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them and make it easy that they're being tested. Everyone's being tested. But it's simple as that. You don't go against the Sharia just because you're being tested or you have a weakness. Uh, your nikah is battled. You are committing zina. Uh, forget zina. Uh, you are doing something that, you know, it's it's totally impermissible. Uh, and yeah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them and guide us, inshallah. I mean, uh, that's what we want to say, inshallah. Especially you as well. Yeah, I mean, especially me. I think me, uh, d deeply me, inshallah, subhanallah, brothers and sisters. Because yeah. it's Ali needs... Assalamu alaikum. Well, I really enjoyed your take on this. I don't want to say much about this particular video because um, I'm being mindful of my words. But all I can say is that, you know, going to the mosque, going or going to the church or whatever religion you find yourself, the same gender, getting married boy boy girl girl gazing lesbianism oh it's really really wrong but well thank you so much for watching guys forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share comment i'll see you in the next one bye